Are you out of fresh ideas for your DIY projects? Find a number of creative proposals and practical hacks in this video. It seems that fish is the hero of the day. Let's make a school of fish to keep your photos and notes. Hammer big nails in a long piece of wood. Make little fish from color paper. Draw a simple shape. Use the first fish as a template. Add some details. Hot glue the sea creatures to the nails. Perfect! The pretty little fish will keep your photos or notes tight to avoid their scattering around. The paper boat garland will bring the summer feeling to your room. Besides, it's great fun to make especially if you are a paper craft lover. It consists of traditional easy-to-make paper ships. Take thick color paper and fold it in half. Find the center. Fold it in half again, creasing the top. Unfold. Turn the top corner down and to the center. Keep in mind the middle of the top. Repeat for the opposite top corner. Fold the bottom upwards. Fold the corners down. Turn it over and repeat. Open it and fold the middle of the sides to shape a square. Fold the bottom corner upwards. Don't reach the top. Turn it over and repeat. Open again and fold the middle of the sides. Fold the bottom up. Repeat for the back. Open the side flaps to shape a boat. We've prepared a number of ships of blue, white, and different shades of yellow paper. We'll fasten them with the twine. We can hardly thread it. Use the life hack we've tested. Apply some hot glue to the frayed end. Press down with your finger. Try to thread it now. Perfect! Pass it through the boat. Fasten with a knot. Tie a knot on top to fasten the upper ship. Continue adding the details. Wow! Cool! The light paper garland will sway slowly as you pass by like the sailing ships drifting in the gentle breeze. There's an unexpected guest knocking on the window. Come in, little bird! Take a piece of cardboard and a printed out picture of a bird. Place the picture on top of the cardboard with the printed image down. Dab it carefully with a cotton pad soaked in acetone-based nail polish remover. The picture's been transferred to the cardboard. It's blurred but quite visible to define it with a marker. Outline the bird. Cut it out. Use acrylic paint to color it. Tweet Tweet wants to be a canary bird. Paint it yellow. Color the feet and the beak brown. Paint the breast light yellow. Mix white and yellow. Define the expressive eyes. Come onto my hand. I think you need a house. Draw an oval on the cardboard to make a cage bottom. Add a handle above. Join them with thick bars. Cut out the outline. Mix orange and white acrylic paints. Color the cage in a soft apricot shade. Define the details. Where should I put your house, Tweet Tweet? Do you like watching at the window? Or decorate the curtain? I think you'll feel better on the shelf. It's raining outside, but your heart wants some festivities. Then turn an old umbrella into a flower bouquet. Put artificial flowers into a closed cane umbrella.
tie it up with a wide ribbon and hang it on the stairs. My friend is looking for an umbrella, but she finds an entire flower arrangement instead of it. These beautiful flowers act as a stress reliever, and her mood is no longer rainy. Moreover, you can decorate your porch or balcony with this umbrella. It will add a touch of spring to a gray winter day. I wonder why there is an empty jar hanging on the wall, and how is it holding? Real miracles happen in this kitchen. Take thick cardboard. Hot glue two layers to make a square. Cut off the excess. Wrap the cardboard with a foam rubber sheet. Paint the edges black. Mark the jar top on the square and make two holes with an awl. Apply paper glue along the rim of the jar and sprinkle with some glitter. Spray it with hairspray to fasten. Tie a colorful ribbon around the neck of the jar. And pass the ends through the holes in the cardboard. Tie the jar to the cardboard and make a knot on the back side. All that is left to do is to attach the decoration to the wall. Suddenly, my friend comes and puts flowers into the jar. Oh, now that makes sense. It's a wall vase. It's for decorating the wall and turning the kitchen into a window garden. Splendid! While my friend is taking photos of her flower arrangement to post on Instagram, I will prepare flower decor too. I've got a soft flower pot. Cut a piece of used color fabric into more or less identical strips about three inches wide. Fold a part of strips into some layers to form packs and roll the rest of the strips. Take a plastic flower pot and hot glue a roll to the side of the pot. And attach the strip packs around it. Keep on decorating the pot, interchanging rolls and packs. I show my designed pot to my friend. No, it's not a hat. It's a home for my plants. My friend likes it. It looks like her Instagram page will soon turn into a flower exhibition. Let's make a funny fox coffee cup sleeve to keep your coffee hot for longer. Make a template. To make it easy and convenient, repeat the template on thick paper. Be careful to measure out the right size. The sleeve should overlap a mug. Trace the template on the red felt and cut out. Prepare gray felt details. Glue the brown felt to the underside. Attach the button clasp. Sew it down. Now glue the elements. Sew down the second half of the button to the tail. Decorate the fox with a neat running stitch. Attach eyes, add whiskers, and imitate fur. We've got an amusing, lovely fox coffee cup koozie to cheer you up in the morning and in the daytime. In our tutorial, we'll make a bright spring wreath using sisal and decorative ribbons. We'll need scrapbooking paper, decorative ribbons, sisal, a wreath base, craft wire, and double-sided tape. 
Begin by decorating the woven twig wreath base with the sisal. We've chosen a juicy green color like spring grass. We'll need craft wire. Place the sisal around the base. Attach with the craft wire in several places. Add a few different color ribbons, winding the base to mark the top wreath center. Prepare the decorative elements. We have cut out a cardboard leaf stencil. Trace it. Make as many leaves as you can place on the cardboard. Cut them out. Now, trace the leaf on the back of scrapbooking paper. Stick a wide piece of double-sided tape across the edge. Remove the protecting cover. Attach the leaves to the tape. Cut them out. Pierce the end of a leaf with a needle. Thread the craft wire and twist the ends. When all the leaves are ready, decorate the wreath. Pass the pin through the base and secure on the back. Now, you should add the ribbon to hang the wreath. Form a bow using the ribbon ends, make a loop, and attach it with the craft wire. Do the same on the other side. You've made a stylish, festive bow. Cut off the ribbon ends. This festive door wreath will bring a bit of spring mood to your home. Leave your comments and share your impressions. Subscribe to our channel and see new decoration tutorials.